Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're painting watercolor bats. This is a quick, simple one, and it's using the wet on wet technique. Grab your supplies and let's get started. If you want to use a pencil to sketch out your bats first, you can do that. I'm also going to be using my round brush, size 8. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see the sketch a little bit easier. You're going to start with a somewhat oval shape, like a little bean, and then two little pointy ears on top. So just make a little curved line in between those two pointy ears, and then we'll pull out the wings. These are the top of the wings, and they're going to arch upwards. And then underneath each wing, make three or four smaller scoops. They're going to also be arched a bit and then they'll attach close to the body, towards the head, under the ears. Alright, so that is your basic bat. I'm going to do a few more. You can make these different sizes. You can have the wings angled a little bit different to show them in different stages of flight. That is completely up to you. Just eyeball it and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a loose, wet on wet style of painting and this is just merely a guide. All right, so for this painting, I'll be mostly in my blues and blacks. So that's this corner of my palette. We're gonna start with a light wash of water on the first bat's body. And then while it's still a bit damp and wet, we can go ahead and drop in our colors. With wet on wet technique, you want to make sure you have enough water put down and also not too much water. So there's a fine balance. Um, if you get too much water pooling, it'll dry a little bit funny, um, and if it's not wet enough, the wet on wet technique won't really work. Your paint won't spread on its own. So go ahead and fill in your shape with water, and then if you look from the side, you'll see a nice sheen on it, so a bit of a damp dampness. That's just about the right spot for you. Um, this is something that comes with practice, so if it doesn't come the first time, don't worry, just keep going, keep practicing, and your muscle memory will build as you keep doing this more and more. We're going to drop in our first layer of color, and just like it sounds, it's wet on wet, it's wet paint on that wet spot of water. I'm going in with this bluish black, and there is also quite a bit of water in my paint as well, so it's not too saturated. You can always go light to dark, and so I always start off with a lighter wash, and then I build my layers from there. This is also fun to vary up your different shades of blue. So I've got warmer blues, cooler blues, and warmer blacks and cooler blacks. So when you drop in your different colors and they're all wet like this, as they dry, they'll mix up on their own and make really beautiful combinations. Also, while your bat shapes are still wet like this, you can refine some of those edges. So using the end of my brush, I'm just making some of those little areas a little bit more pointy and defined. When it dries, it's a lot harder to do that. So while it's wet, you can kind of manipulate the borders and the edges of where the water and paint are sitting. All right, so let's move on and let that first one dry. Again, starting with a clean base of fresh water on that bat body and wings, and then going in with the same technique and dropping in the wet paint into those areas. Okay, and going back in with that blue and black mixture in different areas, and then using the end of my brush to define some of those shapes and make them a little bit sharper along the edges. Okay, and for the third and final bat, it's a little bit smaller. So this one again, will fill with a little bit of clean water to start and then same technique.
All right, so go through and make any final little adjustments and then we'll let this first layer completely dry. All right, so you can see that as it dried, it mixed up on its own. There are some areas where there's a little bit more texture and a little bit more saturation and some areas that are lighter. And that's just the fun of watercolor. You can get all these beautiful textures. Also, go ahead and erase any extra pencil lines that might be sticking out. You can do that right now while your paper is dry. And then we'll go in with our second layer and add in some more saturation. This time I'm not wetting the wings or the body. I'm just going straight in with that paint on dry paper. And that is because I want to have more control over where I add in the darker areas. So I'm rinsing my brush and then just softening out some of these edges and making sure that I'm keeping some of that texture from the first layer. I don't want to lose it completely, but I also want to define some areas that need to be a little bit darker and sharpen out some of these edges. Whenever you go in to soften out these edges, make sure you have a clean rinsed brush that's damp um, and then you can pull out that color and gradually fade it out. Sometimes it's hard to know how much paint to go in with when you're doing layers like this. So I would recommend just going slow, adding in in stages. So you can always add more layers. You can always go light to dark. Um, and take breaks in between, let your paper dry so you can see what it looks like completely. And if needed, go ahead and add a third layer or a fourth layer as you like. All right, so go in and add in all your final touches and details, and then we'll let this dry. And I do have one final fun step if you want to try it. It's just splattering a little bit of paint texture. We're going to make sure we have a little bit of watered down paint. Make sure it has enough water that you get good splatter dots. The more water you have in that paint, the bigger your dots will be. And the less water, the smaller your little splatter dots will be. And then you can use the back of a paintbrush and just gently tap. So this is always a fun little way to add some texture and just throw in as part of your painting. Have fun with it and I hope you really enjoyed painting along today. If you did, let me know in the comments and what you would like to see next. And be sure to check the description for any course info and freebies. I'll see you in the next video.